Wow! Incredible! You found all the lost mobs. You should go and speak to Tiny Agnes in the Mob Museum. It's time to celebrate a job well done. Welcome to the official Minecraft mob vote server for 2023. This server is about to go live and is available for Minecraft players on iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Today in this video, we're going to be showing you how to vote. The mini games available but also all of the Easter egg locations. Be sure to hit that like button and let's get into this. It is important to remember that the server is available for three days, but the mob voting ends in 48 hours. Just like last year, there is a resource pack to download. Make sure you download it for the best experience. It's 18.5 MB. Here we go. The Mob Vote Server 2023, where we can vote. Oh, oh, you received a character creator item. Check it out in the dressing room after you leave the event. Make sure you claim your free cape. Aha! I see you made it. I'm Tiny Jens, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2023 Mob Vote event. You can vote for your favorite mob, play minigames, and explore the islands. The show will be starting soon, and I'm still trying to find my way there. But Tiny Agnes, Tiny Wu, and Tiny Lydia will help you. Make sure to cast your vote for the mob that you want to join Minecraft. For all of the parents out there, let me tell you guys, that chat is disabled. If I was to type in hello YouTube and hit enter, chat is off to protect all the children. How incredible does the penguin look? We got the crab, the penguin, and the armadillo. Oh, we've also got tiny Agnes. All right, first thing we need to do today is make our vote, okay? Now, one thing I do want to say to you guys is I'm voting for armadillo. Uh, you, if you flick this, oh, dude, that looks so cool. Oh! You receive some character creator items. Check it out in the dressing room after the event. Ah, okay. So we got character creator items as well. And this is why it's always worth voting. I've just realized that when you vote, you get tickets. So a little bit different this year. Hey, 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 dragon. Oh my days, you're a little bit laggy, aren't you? <laughs> Fellow armadillo friend. Okay, so if I was to then change my mind and vote for the crab, as you can see there, we voted for the crab. I think we got some extra credits. No, not that time. I mean, you can do this like a couple of times. What you can do this as many times as you want over the next 20, uh, 48 hours. The last one you tap is the one you vote for. Now, underneath the Minecraft Live logo on the top right of the screen, it's telling you which one you voted for as well. So make sure you guys tap on the one that you really want to vote for. And we've also got Vu going on down here. Hello. Bro, this map looks so awesome. Wait, that's got to be the dropper. That has to be the dropper game. Oh, wait. I've got credits, actually. You found a spot to spend your emerald tickets. Different stores stock different goods, so remember to shop around. Oh, I want a frog. Oh, I'm already wearing a frog. Oh, <laughs> I'm already the frog, and now I have another frog. Frogception. It looks beautiful. Can we break this? Nothing inside of there. Okay, so you can spend the tickets that you earn to unlock a bunch of cosmetics. I... Yeah, I, ne I need to go and find some more. Oh, I just found some tickets inside of here. So I came into this house right here, the opposite of that store. And I was just like having a little bit of a nosy round. And I managed to find myself some additional tickets. We are checking out Whack a Mob. All right, this is a game that is going to be hosted by Tiny Agnes. <laughs> I see her. Check her out with the hammer. Hello. Show no mercy. Let's do some whacking of some mobs. Wait, like I just got to instantly whack them. Aha, here we go. We just got to whack them all. We just got to whack them all. That's it. Just do not whack any of the, uh, the, the villagers, apparently. That's what I'm told. Thanks, Lady Agnes. For the moral support. That's a villager. Don't hit him. That's a, not, not a villager. Got you, too. Emeralds. I, I don't want emeralds. I would like to get some dollars so I can buy some items. Come on. Come on. Ninety. I, I'm trying to get the. Oh, I was trying to get the. I got forty tickets for it though. You finished with a score of one hundred. 
Tickets, 40. Can I wear this again? Hey, hey, let's go, Mr. Froggo. Let's test our parkour skills and see how we get on. The crab is the easiest one. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section the times that you get. Keep this going. There's the glare on the left. But I don't know if that's one of the Easter eggs anymore. It was last year. But you guys know that they always try and make things a little bit different. Here we go. Here we go. We may, we're making it. Uh, oh, this way. Back up this way. Oh. Probably should have fell there. We gotta get to the timidity top of the crab. Come on. We're on for a good time here. I always aim for like under a minute. Next one. Hey, let's go! Congratulations! The crab told me to tell you that you did great. Thank you. <laughs> a time of 38 seconds. That's not too bad, bro. There is so much going on in this one compared to last time. It's time for the armadilly dog parkour. Let's see how much difficult this one is versus the crab one. This is the medium difficulty. I'm going to try and get a time under one minute here. And let, we, we're catching up to these players here. Oh, oh, it's starting to get a little bit laggy. The more players that join. I also noticed that when you get super close to players, they get tiny to stop being a distraction for you. I love that. Go, 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 go. We got to move. We got to keep moving here. Oh, I nearly fell then. That was scary. Convinced I can still do this in one minute time. We did the other one in 38 seconds. Oh, well, I went the wrong way then. Gotta keep going this way. Oh, let's not lose it now. Somebody with me as well. Don't be a distraction for me. Uh, this way. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes. What are we doing in 46? Let's go, dude. Wait, did I... What did I get from that? Oh, I completed... The, wait, why? Oh, what did I... Oh, I thought I got something cool for... Hey, he's already wearing the shell. The shell backpack that you get from, from joining this. <laughs> that was cool, though. I like I liked standing on this. Oh, that's so cool. That's where you take a screenshot. It looks like everyone is currently onto that penguin one. I love how tidy people get. That's my favorite thing about this whole entire server. I think this is the right way. <laughs> no idea. This one is apparently the hardest one. It just seems to have a lot more twists and turns compared to the other ones that we played. Oh, you nearly sent me to the wrong way then, buddy. I think I've seen that person before as well. This one's a little bit more patronizing than the other ones. Let's be patient here. We still want to try and get a time of under one. The lag is trying to destroy my life. Um, Which way? This way? This way? This way? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I've just gone the right way. Hello? Am I really this good at parkour? Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, we did it! I did that one better than the armadillo one. I think I figured it out. Somebody was doing this before. If you buy a bow, right? I want to show you something. Let me just go around the back over here. There's balloons. These, these things down here are balloons. And you got to shoot them. I mean, the more you shoot, the more tickets you get. I'm curious as to what this is. There's a question mark right here. Now that that is a very very big question mark. How would we get up there? Ah, the mountain parkour course. I hear it's got a lovely view at the top. Don't worry, there aren't any mountain goats up there. Probably. Have fun. So there is another parkour that we are having to do here. Thanks, Jeb. Another secret one. Okay. Again, can we do this within the allotted time that it's given us? I like this one. Hey, how you doing, Agnes? Oh, you're in the way. <laughs> Checkpoint saved. This is going to be something for a really good view. Probably another chance to use the camera command. Brilliant. Yes. You made it all the way up. Nice job. We, we did it. It's a little chilly up here. Here it is. There it is. No, I don't want to get... Yeah, that's so cool. Time for me to show you where all of the lost mobs are. You'll be given the exact same hat that I've been given, which is the lost mobs hats. If we go into dressing room, we go to edit character, style, we go to headwear. You'll see it right here. This is the item you are given for completing this. So watch carefully. Now, when you're looking at the mob vote when you first join, just go down these stairs. 
Go down the next stairs and turn to the right. You are going to see the beautiful Moo Bloom. And make sure you hit them, okay? Make sure you hit them. And at the top, it will tell you the number. If this is the first one you found, it'll be one out of nine. Now, the next one, you need to head to whack -a mob And we are going to be locating the glare. Go to the right-hand side. Now, we are heading over in this area. So, just jump down here. We are looking for a set of ladders, which is these ones. We just want to head up these ladders. And then you just want to follow this one into here and make sure you hit that one. And that is the glare location. Come back to the whack -a mob area and then go left this time. You are heading towards the lighthouse. Now at the lighthouse, this is going to be your ostrich location. Okay, and this one is going to be right here. Once again, make sure you hit it, and this should be number three for you. So when you're at this bridge, you need to go to the right-hand side, and you need to jump into here. And then over here around the back, there's going to be a set of stairs. And then what you want to do is just commute yourself all the way to the top. The Isologer will be waiting for you. So just be really careful with this one, because there is a little bit of a jump that you need to do with this one. But you don't need to worry about that. You just got to get all the way to the tippity top. As always, watch out with that one because it's ice. And then come all the way around the back. And then right at the top, you're going to have yourself the Isologer. To find the Vulture. As you guys know, we have the rails here. You want to just keep going all the way to the left-hand side. Because we need to go to the Maze of Maze, which is over there. And then you guys are going to have to basically commute your way all the way to the top. And the way you do this is on the other side. And there's a bunch of ladders. You can see the vulture above me right there. So you just got to, like, be a little bit sneaky with this one. We're going to go inside of this one. And we're just going to make... I think it's this way. This one's a lot more tedious <laughs> than you actually think. Anyway, let's just commute ourselves right to the top. And then we should come out this side. And then we should go here. And then once again, when you're here, make sure, make sure you're, you're, you're tapping and, and you're hitting all of these mobs. Now, once you've done that, it's time to set sail with tiny Lydia. All you got to do is just tap and then set sail. Once you get here, follow exactly where I'm going. We need to go over this bridge. Now, I'm pretty sure you are aware by now there is like a hidden cave which shows you where all of the mobs are. If you've done any exploring, you know that it's right inside of here. Apologies for the lag. A lot of people are playing. You just want to head all the way down here. Now, obviously, if you guys missed it, there is a mob over there. So I want to show you guys where that mob location is because that mob location is the rascal. So you got to do a little bit of parkour here. Jump your way across here and then go up this ladder. And once you go up this ladder, you are going to see it's the rascal. You just got to tap on the rascal and you'll get a pop-up. And then after you've done that one, let's go inside of there. Because that is the mob room. And when you get to the Moo Bloom inside of here, you want to go down this ladder. We are going to be finding another one of these mobs. So go down this ladder. You're then going to go into this room. And then if you go up here, you're going to see another one of the mobs. And this one right there is the Tough Golem. Starting back at the ship, turn around, and we are now going to the left side. Now come up this little bit of stairs here, and you are looking for this guy right here, this villager. And we need to head down here, because down here is going to be the Copper Golem. Come back to this little villager. Rather than going down the hole, this time we are going across the rail. You are going to see a jungle temple. And I think this one is the Mia cat, if I can remember correctly. Hey, they've actually just find it. There you go. Shout out to this person. Wow, incredible. You found all the lost mobs. You should go and speak to Tiny Agnes in the Mob Museum. It's time to celebrate a job well done. So once you're back on the Mob Vote Island, you want to come to a shop down here, which is right here. And you want to buy a bunch of candies. So if you go inside of here and you tap on them, you want to buy as many of these as possible. I'm just going to be buying a whole bunch of these. The more you have, the better it is. Just buy these. So obviously, you're going to have to make sure you have a bunch of the money. 
Now, you guys are probably like me. We have a question mark. We have the dropper. Above us, we have the lighthouse. And something's going on up there. You need these. So you want to stand on here and eat this cotton candy. And this is going to take you up. Now, you might need to eat more than one. Just make sure you get on here. You're going to get a phone like call from Jeb. A really boring lighthouse. I bet there's nothing there. So you may as well turn right around and rejoin the fun. Eat another one of these. Again, if you want to make yourself across, get all the way across. And you can kind of cheat this a little bit and just keep eating these to go all the way up. Now, again, if you don't have a lot of money and you can't get yourself up, you can just enter into here. What are you doing down there? There's <laughs> nothing here, you know. And then you're going to have to just keep eating these to get all the way to the tibbity top. The wrong way. We're just going to keep like eating there. these. I mean there. Here just we go. Around, okay? Don't peer behind the curtain. Keep going to the top. Again, there's nothing up here. So once you get to the top, just drop down to this one. And then you're going to pop out here. And then you just got to hit Jeb. Once you hit Jeb, he says, let me give you something for your trouble. And then you end up with this really cool spyglass.